Thailand for two years before I came here. This, that was right after I finished my uh, doctoral degree in the US. I got the two years. Um, but then luckily I got a position from UITM, so I, I moved to Malaysia nine years ago. Well, they, they had a choir, but then no professional instructor. And I'm the only the one who holds a DMA in oral conducting in Malaysia right now. So I'm the specialist only. But now uh, some uh, students are studying in the US. Hopefully they bring back the technique to Malaysia. But then, uh, yeah. I'm actually the first, first one to, to, to instruct as a professional. something we have to be strict you have to be serious if the, my students are testified just uh, people say you are very good choir in Selango level I think we don't need practice they sing well but then my target is the top in the world if we decide to go and bring the flag to the champion we need to practice nothing else if the other choir practice three days a week I practice five times six times From Borneo also very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because they have um, kind of mixed uh, DNA, not pure, something mixed, 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 that makes a very attractive sound. It makes a very, very attractive sound, which other countries don't have it. Yeah, um, you know, Hong Kong, Taiwan, China, Japan, uh, Philippines, Indonesia. Every country has a different sound. Malaysia is very, very unique, very attractive to me. So. How would you describe Malaysia? Um, dark, light. Dark, light. Light. Dark but not heavy, but not bright. Uh, light but not bright. Mm -hmm. Very, very dark shining but then light it's a very difficult to make it let's go to the philippine it's very dark whoa heavy that's it soprano also whoo, heavy but in here is that tone color we, they have here have, but then they can sing a light. And the Chinese Japanese is a bright light. Ah! Japanese also that tone color. The here is different. So we are like get the balance. Yes, yes. Yeah, I think so. It's a very lucky country, I think. Yeah, combined of many good things in terms of the coral. Yeah. Well, you know, Malaysian students are very smart. 
it's not a problem. They can see the score and the reader alphabet. Then, yeah, for example, we do French or German. I need to instruct specific tone uh, pronunciation. But otherwise, uh, they, they learn by themselves. They have YouTube, they have IPA, they have a dictionary. They prepare by themselves and they come to rehearsal. I just check if something incorrect, I just do this. So that's a UI term I don't I don't need to instruct from the that things from the everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then again, you know your Malaysian English result also one of the top in Asia. So I think language skills are very high in Malaysia compared to others. So it's it's not the problem here. angry in the classroom. The music is always have to be joy, right? So I never, never upset if someone's a correct, uh, thing wrongly. This is our important things. Someone didn't bring the score in the rehearsal. Why don't bring? Then the whole rehearsal will be like this. It's a waste of two hours. You know, two hours keep joy, but they also have to correct the student. As long as they really enjoy singing, they love singing truly, that's the most important. Yeah, always smiling in the uh, choir and they respect the friends. Spend with the students. A lot of times, besides rehearsal, after rehearsal, they go makan, even 11 to midnight, I join. And if they go to uh, shopping in the Sanwe Pyramid, I join. And they go movie, I join. And if they uh, need to go hospital, I drive. They go, someone's uh, father died in Pinan, I drive. Um, I try to be involved in many things. And then, uh, we're really like a family, we move all together. He, uh, during like practice, like now, we call it rehearsal. Rehearsal, he's very strict. Like we cannot eat, we cannot uh, laugh or talk. But outside, outside practice, he's very like a father to us. He's very like, are you okay? Do you need anything? Let's go eat. Um, yeah, we trust him so much. We adore. I, th I can call him a father to us. I don't know, we call him Otosan in Japanese. Dr. Uh, Prof. Masashi, he's a very, very, very brief. If he said like, you have to come 10, but actually we have to come one hour early or 30 minutes early. How do foreigners see the quiet team from Malaysia? Well, Mostly they don't know even where the Malaysia is. Yeah, some foreigner, yes, it's famous, Kuala Lumpur is famous. But then if we go local village where, where the uh, competition is held, uh, even they, when they see the flag, are you from USA? Some people say that, local people don't know. But then we are the ambassador. We tell we are the Malaysia, and we are the Chinese dress, Indian dress, and the Malay box. You know, and speak Basa Malay in the Chinese song. We bring everything. And then we, we show our, our culture and everything. We have a friendship concert. We, song, we sing many different songs as well. For them, it's like a big surprise. And then uh, they sing well. So they're surprised how the beautiful Malaysian sound is. Yeah.